Today we are back on the Ultimate Ford Densite Crew Cab and we're going to be building some fender flares. We've been doing some behind the scenes work on this truck. We've got most of the paint stripped off. It took us about 20 hours and we're not quite done but we're getting super close. building fender flares for this truck well it came as a single wheel truck and we turned it into a dually so we got to do something with this exposed tire because it is not legal to drive with a tire exposed like this I think the law states something like 50% of the upper half of the tire needs to be covered so we got to address this there's several different ways we can tackle this problem one of which being just buying a complete fender for this a dually fender they make them, they're aftermarket, they're really nice, but they're also kind of expensive. Uh, another way we could just totally sheet metal this in or whatever, kind of make our own fender, but I'm gonna simplify it. I'm gonna take a piece of sheet metal and I'm gonna conform it to fit this fender here and it's gonna come out, it's gonna cover the tire. It's gonna be super basic, super simple, and hopefully super easy, but probably not. Before we can build the fender flares on this, I need to address this problem right here. I don't know what happened there, but it looks like maybe they lost a tire at some point or something got caught under there. Anyway, it messed it up pretty bad. So in order to do the fender flares, I need to fix that so I got somewhere proper to install it to. So what I did is I bought this piece from LMC. This is just a patch panel and it basically goes right there. Something, something like that. We're not going to use the whole piece. We're just going to use a little bit of it, like about that much right there. And we'll weld it in and it should take care of that problem. First thing we want to do is figure out exactly what we want to cut off. So if I take the patch panel, I stick it up here like this, then I have an idea of how much I can cut off. So just make a mark there. And then I'm going to take a piece of tape and just run it kind of down at an angle so I can kind of keep a straight line. It just kind of makes it easier when you're cutting this off to have a straight line to start with. Let's get her done! Okay, I've got it figured out where I want it to go. I don't want to take out any more metal than I absolutely have to. That way I can keep my body lines kind of exactly how they were and it'll be easier less weld and stuff like that but that's a pretty good chunk we're taking out there quite a bit of damage in there so we'll uh cut that out with a grinder see how it looks hey we about cut through the gas lid that was super smart but we didn't blow up well, that's a plus lesson one of the day look behind what you're cutting before you start cutting so I cut right through my gas cap and up here I got into a little bit of inner fender structure which I really don't want to mess with. So I cut it down a little bit lower and we're going to tack this up and kind of redo it and then we're just going to go from here down. It should be fine. This is the destruction that we cut out and I'm not a very good body man and I never ever would have got that back into any kind of shape. I got it tacked up, gonna hit it with the grinder, make it look nice, and we'll have a good place to start from. All right, I'm gonna put this up in here, where it needs to go. I'm gonna mark the inside. I'm gonna mark it bigger than it, what it actually needs to be. And I'll show you why in just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and tape a mark on here so I can cut it just like I did on the body, keep it straight. I'm gonna do a half inch overlap. And the reason I'm gonna do a half inch overlap is because I'm literally gonna overlap it, but then I'm gonna cut in between the two pieces of metal so they line up perfectly. Instead of trying to cut this out and make it fit, there's always gonna be gaps, there's always gonna be whatever. This way you're just kind of setting it on there, cutting between the two metals and then making them line up. I'll show you. Alright, 
There it is. I think that'll work. Um, I think I might do a little trimming up here so I can get the front piece to fit. And then I'm gonna cut in between the two metals and just start um, making them fit together and tacking them as I go. Let's talk about joints for a minute. Not the kind you smoke, but the kind you weld. So what we have here currently is an overlap or a lap joint. So there's metal behind here, which is not good. What'll happen is moisture and dirt will get behind there and then it'll rust. So we don't want that. What we want is a butt joint. So we do not want any overlapping. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a line here and we're gonna be cutting both the old bed and the new piece I cut on here. And then we're just gonna weld right up on that. And in the end, we'll get rid of this piece right here that I've tacked on and a little bit of inside of the bed and it'll make a, hopefully a good butt joint. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. All right, hopefully now you can kind of see the idea what's going on here. So this piece, we need to just maneuver it just a little bit, but it almost fits perfectly. That's like a perfect gap to weld. And we'll just continue this process all the way up. But first, we're gonna weld this here and make this look right, make it all fit. And then we'll just continue up. Piece of cake. This is the excess we've cut off on the outside as we're going, and it is doing the exact same thing on the inside. It's just peeling back, and then we're just gonna continue to spot weld, spot weld, spot weld, until we're done. I've got it tacked about as far as I dare go right now. As you can see, this top part is kind of pushing it out. So I need to get all this cut off, make it fit, and then I will continue welding. And after I do that, this should line up better up here and we should be good to go. We got this all tacked in and mostly welded. We'll have to come back and finish welding the whole thing, grinding it, making it smooth. It turned out pretty good, I'm happy with it. It's far from perfect, but I ain't no body man, so for me it's good enough. I may need to remind you that this is just a work truck. It's never gonna be a show truck, but there's a few things that need to be fixed and this is one of them. So let's move on to the fender flare. Now I've got the basic shape of this and it's not gonna change. I can go ahead and start building my fender flare and making that look good. Now I'm gonna take a measurement for these fender flares, just kind of get a rough measurement so I can do a rough cut and start fitting them in there. Actually, before I do that, I think I might try to shape the bar. So what I want to do is take a piece of 3 8 round bar and try to heat it and basically make this shape of this fender like this. So when I come out here, I have something to build off of that will match this shape right here. So let's see what I can do as far as that. I'm not sure this is the best way to go about this, but right now I can't think of a better way to do it. So this is gonna be the outer structure of the fender flare. So I needed to match the shape of the fender. I just so happen to have the old chrome that is the shape of the fender. So what I wanna do is I wanna heat this with a torch and then I'm gonna start slowly bending it and see if I can kind of get this rough shape or this exact shape, hopefully, but we'll see how it goes. If you got a better way to do this, let me know below in the comments. A few moments later. We went to lunch and now we're back from lunch. And during lunch, I had some time to think about how I can do this easier. So what I'm gonna do is make a jig out of OSB and just bend it around the jig. 
Now what I'm gonna do is get behind here, I'm gonna make a mark, I'm gonna cut this out, and then I'll have a jig that's the exact same shape as my fender. Okay, so I got the thing traced out. I'm gonna cut it out with my saw. Work. I'm gonna screw my jig down to my portable tabletop so we got a better way to bend this. We got the general shape of it, but still not happy with it. So I'm gonna put it in a vise, hopefully do a little fine tuning on it. We've got the general shape of the 3 8 round bar, the shape of the fender. So now we're gonna cut out some of this 20 gauge sheet and make the fender out of it. got this 20 gauge sheet metal cut out. Now we're gonna put it up kind of where it needs to go. We're gonna tack it in for now. I think ultimately I'm gonna bolt it in so it's removable. But for now, we're just gonna tack it in, kind of get the general shape, see how it's gonna look. And then we can start putting the infrastructure in it. So we got the general shape of this. We got the general shape of our 3 8 bar. I'm gonna cut all these tacks off right here. And then I'm gonna tack the bar onto this. Try to get everything straightened around and happy. And then, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But we'll figure it out. Got the round bar all tacked on, pretty happy with it. Got the fender tacked on up here, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and bolt it right here and start trying to conform the fender and getting it kind of squared away where it's gonna go. And then I'll trim the inside and I'll trim the outside and then we should be good. Okay, I've got the general spot where it's gonna go. I've got a hole drilled so I can just put it back up in there. But I gotta trim off a bunch of this inner fender right here because it's in the way and I can't even get a bolt really started up in there. So I'm gonna get that done, then we're gonna bolt it back on. We got one bolt in it, it's starting to look pretty good. Got the back kind of roughed in, trimmed in. Um, I'm gonna keep on putting bolts in it and making sure everything's square and even and uh, go from there. Got it all bolted on, it fits really good. Now we're gonna trim it, then we should be good.
that's about all we're going to get done for today. Pretty happy with the way it turned out. We won't bore you with the other side because it's going to be just like this side. So thanks for watching and tune in for the next one. And but now I got to trim out a bunch of stuff here because I got a bunch of excess right along here. So, ah, burp. Let me start over.